Today, the Prime Minister met with Hazrat Mirza Mazur Ahmad. Few people can claim to speak for as many as the Caliph of the Ahmadi Muslims, tens of millions of people worldwide. He preaches a message of love for all, hatred for none. And when Peter Mansbridge spoke with him recently, there was concern that message wasn't being heard in an era of fear, frustration, and the rise of Donald Trump. Here's some of that conversation. Are we at a, a critical point inside the Muslim world? Yes, it seems. Muslim world is disturbed. And now that is spreading, it is going beyond to the West. When we see these tensions increase, we see people react in different ways. We've witnessed in the United States for the last two years an election campaign for a new president. We're literally only days away from that happening now. Yes. One of the candidates has advocated a total and full ban on all Muslims entering the United States. And occasionally he walks that back to a different position, but to at least extreme vetting of all Muslims. What does that say to you? You see, as far as we are concerned, we are true practicing Muslims. We do not believe in any extremism. We Ahmadi Muslims are very much absorbed in this society. And uh, we believe that uh, the, the love of your country is part of your faith. As far as other Muslims are concerned, he says that he will put, put complete ban on them. Okay, he can put ban on them to stop entering. But what about those millions of Muslims living in, the, in his country? How will he behave with them? And I believe that if, and that if is very big, if he wins, he will not implement it, what he's saying. Is that not just wishful thinking, though? I mean, he, he speaks yes, it, for it, it, millions it, it, of yes, Americans who yes, feel that way. Yes, even, even millions of Americans are not backing him in this regard. Right. But millions of others are. Are. And we've reached a, a moment in our, in our history so, so, where so, that... So, so then, then there will be a, you know, see, a chaos in the country. If he takes any measure, or any step, any harsh step, or tries to deny the rights of the Muslims living in his country, then there is a conflict. With this, it has not been implemented. But even then, every now and then you see Muslims are taking revenge. They are brutally killing without any reason. Even, even in America, it is not only Muslim. There, you can see there are so many mad people in the country who just enter inside the university or the school and they start firing on the students, innocent people. So in America, it is already happening. And if he tried to implement whatever he is saying, then I fear that there is going to be a big civil war. Civil war? Yes, of course, they will raise against the government because now government, if government takes harsh measures just to try to deny all their rights in any way, there, there are so many hundred, hundreds of people even, you see, to create any disturbance or nonsense, you, if a single man can, even can single-handedly do it. He enters one, somebody inside the house or parliament or anywhere in the market and do something. So they have to use sense. I don't think a president of America, if ever elected president of America, will take any buyer, which is senseless. You hope. I <laughs> hope.